Welcome to 5 Minutes of Faith brought to you by Believer's Ministry where we're reaching the community with the love of Christ, one person, one family at a time. Join us as we are taking excerpts from our pastor's recent sermon. It's going to be about five minutes. The title of today's message is Raise Your Level of Commitment. Amen. 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 Our lesson text will be taken from Hebrews, the 12th chapter. And we'll be discussing various scriptures as we continue with this text today. We must go beyond the decision to surrender our life to Jesus Christ to being committed to Jesus Christ. All right. That commitment means to live steadfastly according to our faith. We have to allow the indwelling power of the Holy Spirit to keep us fully persuaded to live a godly life. We must raise our level of commitment to God and continue to walk in the word and will of God and obey God's instruction. When God saw his obedience, then he gave Abraham the next step of instructions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you a blessing. Then God sent him to the next step of instructions. You're going to have a son. Mm -hmm. Abraham raised his level of commitment to God. He obeyed God. And then God took him to the next step of right. instructions. Offer up Isaac mm -hmm. as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Now, Abraham would not have been equipped to offer up Isaac if he had not raised his level of commitment mm -hmm. and obeyed the instruction to leave town. Mm -hmm. Leaving town was a small matter. Offering up his son Isaac as a sacrifice was a big matter. Yes. Some of us think that we're ready for the big matter and God is saying first to leave some people alone. Well, amen. Leave some things alone. Well. Leave some sins alone. Okay. Stop procrastinating. Stop making excuses. Yes. Stop passing blame. Mm -hmm. It's always everybody else's fault. Mm -hmm. The system's fault. My mm -hmm. husband's fault. Mm -hmm. My wife's fault. My children's fault. Everybody's fault but my fault. Well, we well, got to take responsibility yes. for ourselves yes. and realize yes. that we have no control over nobody else, including ourselves. Uh -huh. We yeah. understand that God is in control of everything and everybody, yes. uh -huh. but we understand that as we yield and submit to God, mm -hmm. then we answer for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we have to get our eyes off of other people and put our eyes on Jesus. Mm -hmm. Some things we bring on ourselves. Yes. Yes. It's because of our bad choices. Mm -hmm. Along with these bad choices come consequences. Amen. And whenever we make a bad choice, we will reap the consequence of that bad yes. choice. Yes. And it's not the devil. Amen. The devil is the father of lies, but he's not the father of all opposition. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if we're not careful, the body of Christ will blame everything on the devil. Mm -hmm. We have to do our part and obey God's Thanks. word. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And sometimes it is the devil mm -hmm. that he takes advantage of our flesh and our bad choices. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, it's me, it's me, it's the man in the mirror. Yes. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh, oh Lord, it's the flesh. But other people are looking at your life. Yes. And they can see things you cannot see. Mm -hmm. And when they try to give you godly counsel, some of you don't accept it because you don't want anybody telling you anything. Mm -hmm. That's your pride, mm -hmm. your ego. Mm -hmm. You reject godly counsel, you don't want anybody telling you anything. But when you reject godly counsel, your opposition will step up to the next level mm -hmm. and tell you change. Mm -hmm. If we don't humble ourselves, and that's all of us, mm -hmm. from the pulpit to the pew, mm -hmm. under the mighty yes. hand of yes. God, we are headed for a fall. Mm -hmm. So be willing to change whatever needs to be changed. Yes. The devil can mess with everything around you, but he cannot mess with your peace. Amen. Like Job. The devil took everything from Job. Job was right with God. The devil took everything, but Job still had peace. Yes. Why? Because he was righteous before God. Yes. Yes. A lot of times people say, oh, you know, I'm just going through so much, I'm just like Job. Well, you might be just like Job, but you have to be righteous before God. Amen. Amen. Some things we said, we bring upon ourselves. Yeah. Job was right with God. He didn't bring Amen. nothing upon himself. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Jonah went through far less than Job. But Jonah was in far worse condition 
Why? Mm -hmm. Because his covenant said no peace. Why? Because he was disobedient mm -hmm. to God's instructions. Mm -hmm. We must be obedient to God's instructions yes. and raise yes. our level of commitment. Amen. We trust that the word has encouraged you, has impacted your life, and we'd like to extend a cordial invitation to come out and join us in service. Our address is 465 Waterbury Court, Suite E, Gehanna, Ohio, 43230.